We got another uh, 50 rolls. That's a box. Uh, $250 worth 2,500 coins. Uh, these super tight uh, Loomis rolls. And there's actually a couple different uh, types of rolls in, that came in this uh, this time. Uh, we got some of these uh, brown uh, moolah rolls. So uh, let's get these rolls out of the bag, get them set up, uh, take a look at the ends, uh, see what we got going on here, and then we'll start ripping into them. Okay, so I got all 50 rolls set up. Um, I did notice that there were, there's a lot of them that seem to have 2020 uncirculated dimes on both ends. But so, but then we got, but some of them had uh, a brand new 2020 on one end, but then you flip to the other end and it's obviously a circulated coin. And then we've got the moolah rolls that came like this, definitely circulated. And I did open up a, a few of these uh, Loomis rolls that had uncirculated 2020s on each end and I just slid uh, 10 coins or less out of each one of them uh, just to see what was going on in there and there were um, some circulated coins that did come out with a whole bunch of uh, uncirculated 2020s so I guess that that means that some of these rolls with these brand new enders could be solid 2020s or there could be uh, circulated coins mixed in with them. Uh, we got to open them to find out. Uh, we're shooting for Merc Dimes, uh, Silver Roosevelt Dimes, 82 No P, uh, uh, Proof Coins, uh, any type of error or variety. Hopefully we find more than we did in the last dime box. Let's start ripping these open. We'll do the first one live and to see what we're working with. And after that, there's nothing in there. Then we'll do a little bit of time lapse maybe and I'll bring you in for, for any finds. All right, let's go ahead and, I don't know, why don't we do this uh, moolah roll first. Kind of tight. So there's a circulated coin on this end, and there's a brand new one, or it looks brand new on that end. Okay. Well, there's no silver in this first roll. Let's do a little bit of a time lapse, and I'll bring you in for the highlights. Yeah, I brought you in because these coins do not want to come out of this roll. And I was about to just rip it open like, you know, you usually do with most rolls. But I flip it over and there's a crusty memorial scent stuck in there. You can see that. And then I notice right here see how white that coin looks that's how silver coins will look sometimes oh yeah that's silver i can't believe it roll two and it is a 62 philly Nice. That is awesome. Look at that. Isn't that just awesome? That's awesome. Let's put that right there. And we'll put it right here. Okay, so this is 
That's interesting because isn't that crazy? You got brand new coins mixed in with that. All right, so we got one silver on the board. We got 48 rolls left to go. This is looking uh this is looking real good. It's looking real good. All right, let's keep going. Oh, I completely forgot that we should probably get uh the rest of this rollout that this penny stuck in and that this silver came out of. Should probably do that. There we go. All right, let's see what's in here. I guess I was just so excited I forgot to forgot about these. I think I might have just saw another silver too. In this handful over here. Here's the penny though. All right, there's nothing else in there. Um, how do you think this penny got in that roll? I want to know what you think. Well, there was nothing else in there. So we came out of it with the 162 Denver silver and that memorial scent that was jammed in there. That was kind of weird. Dimes have been tough lately. The last uh, dime, uh, dime box video I did basically found nothing. And then we got this one silver here in this box. I'm hoping my dime luck changes soon.